Hi again. Continuing the series on World War II Special Operations. And we come to a rather intriguing story which um, concerns uh, treachery, basically, within SOE. And it's covered in this book, All the King's Men by Robert Marshall. And it's, it's a theme that has been raised by certain other writers, as, as we will find out. Um, one of the main characters is Claude Dancy, who uh, had a very long and varied career. Uh, in, in his early life, when he was at public school, he was involved in a homosexual scandal, which at that time was highly illegal, which um, caused his father to... Uh, change his um, planned career which involved going into the guards and he ended up out in Rhodesia working uh, for the police out there then during World War One he was working for uh, the security service and also SIS uh, in, the, in the UK. Then he uh, rose to the ranks of SIS and they had um, a system then where in the overseas countries the SIS station was called the Passport Control Office and um, it, it was um, pretty shambolic and pretty insecure and uh, there were some notable failures and it, it was decided to have a superimposed system and Dancy was put in charge of it and what they did there was a bit of a, uh, a scandal uh, regarding money and they um, blamed Dancy for it on the surface so it would seem that he, he, he was no longer working for SIS but he set up what was called a Z organization and uh, it, it was a bit more uh, organized and a bit more ruthless than the former PCO uh, and he rose to be really assistant chief of SIS during World War Two, so he was he was quite a figure, um, and the Oxford historian um, who worked for uh, for SIS uh, during the war, uh, Hugh Trevor Roper, uh, knew Dancy very well and regarded him as a, a complete and utter shit. So uh, that is kind of a clue as to his uh, morality. There's three other characters. Um, Henri Derricourt, who was a pilot. Nick Bonington, who was a journalist working for Reuters. And Carl Bermelberg, who was uh, a, an officer with the Abwehr, German military intelligence, all in Paris. Uh, in the years before World War II and they all used to meet regularly um, and this relationship is central to the whole story because both Derricor and Boddington ended up in SOE. Boddington, um, there, there is speculation and based on, on, on some um, pop some fairly veri verifiable sources that he had worked for SIS um, but he started working for F section of um, SOE and uh, rose to become um, fairly senior in that. Uh, Derricor um, came to the UK with another pilot on an escape line, uh, went through the processing and uh, suddenly disappeared and was staying at a safe house uh, run by Dancy and then was put forward to work for SOE. Uh, the security service MI5 had the doubts about him and some people in SOE particularly Vera Atkins also had doubts about him but he was um, given a job uh, as air movement officer for France so he was the guy who coordinated all the drops into France 
and the pickups coordinated with the RAF Special Duty Squadrons. Uh, Nick Boddington made several um, uh, drops into France uh, during the war and um, to investigate and to um, kind of uh, find out some of the things that were happening and particularly with one of the circuits called Prosper which is run by Francis Sutton. Anyway the central part of the book is that Dericourt was uh, a, 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 a German agent in other words a double and was passing information to the to uh, Bermelberg uh, and, and his associates in the SD uh, about um, F-section activities. Now obviously they wouldn't round up every single agent they would let some through and there was some discretion about that. Um, after the war Dericor was put on trial by the French and they had some pretty damning evidence against him and the person who was responsible for his um, acquittal was Nick Boddington who mysteriously, this is after the war, mysteriously arrived in Paris and gave evidence. Um, and, and said yeah he was in touch with the Germans but uh, we knew all about it and he never passed any significant information. Uh, Vera Atkins who was in Paris coincidentally at the same time wasn't aware of this and she said had she known this trial was going on um, uh, she would have given evidence against Derrico. So there you have it. Um, obviously I've, I've just done a very very brief outline of, of the book massive detail in there and uh, you know you, you can make up your own mind um, in my opinion it's pretty damning Derricor was a double uh, therefore Boddington was involved somehow and the only real reason why he would be working for, De for the interests of Derricor and against the interests of SOE is if he was working for someone else and the supposition is that he was working for, for Dancy in SIS and Dancy had his own agenda, hated SOE quite openly and um, that is, is possibly the, the reason behind it all. Um, several other authors have written about this including a, a fictional story by Larry Collins called Fall from Grace and there's been at least two movies with this as the theme. The theme being that um, information was fed uh, to the Germans via captured agents in, in a deception operation. Uh, now other expert historians have said that SOE was not used for deception purposes but if they didn't know they were being used for deception, if they were deceived themselves as an organisation, um, then who knows. Uh, the whole thing is um, interesting. Uh, it's up to the individual to make up their own mind. But I rather think that um, there's certainly questions to be asked about Dancy. There's another book on this subject which goes into tremendous detail uh, that we will be um, reviewing uh, but for now it's uh, a real book to keep you guessing.